Upon my father's death, my mother wrote to his brother, begging that he bring his family to this wild land and save hers. A year later, he arrived to find my mother frozen in a snowdrift, her two boys half-starved and barely able to speak. He raised them as his own, and took my father's dream and made it into an empire. Then the empire crumbled. With the land of Montana suffering a drought and a locust infestation simultaneously, Yellowstone Dutton ranch owner Jacob Dutton and other cattle and sheep herders suffer grave losses. To combat the ensuing problems, the sheep herders convene a meeting with Jacob, who is also the chairman of the Livestock Association. During the meeting, Banner, one of the sheep herders, complains about the men who killed his sheep and Jacob points out that it wasn't really a crime, as his sheep had been grazing on another man's lease. This results in a confrontation after the meeting, but Jacob stands his ground and warns Banner that he'd risk the seizure of his sheep if they're ever found trespassing again. Afterward, Jacob leaves for another meeting where they agree to take their herds of cattle up the mountain, as the valley is infested with locusts. Meanwhile, In a government missionary school meant for Indian girls, Tiana Rainwater, one of the students, gets into an altercation with Sister Mary, one of the nuns. After being treated unfairly, and she gets punished for it, tired of their constant maltreatment under the guise of turning them into better women, and her constant rape at the hand of one of the nuns, Tiana tells her friend later that night that they'll have to escape from the school. Concurrently, at the Yellowstone Ranch, Jacob and his wife, Kara, are forced to push the wedding of their great-nephew, Jack, back two weeks because of the scheduled movement of the cattle herd up the mountain. They try to get the bride, Elizabeth, and her parents apprised of the new development. However, unknown to Jacob, Banner has taken his sheep up the same mountain to graze. In the meantime, in faraway Nairobi, hunter Spencer Dutton, Jacob's nephew, has just taken up a job to hunt a leopard and is accompanied by two African guides. However, Spencer hits a snag, when after killing the leopard, the guides discover there's a second one lurking nearby. One of the guides is killed by the second leopard while trying to warn Spencer. However, before the animal can wreak any more damage, Spencer is able to kill it. In the aftermath, he blames his employer for withholding information about the second leopard and puts the surviving guide on a train along with the body of his friend so he can be buried. Meanwhile, Jack gets into trouble with Banner's men when he comes up the mountain, ahead of the cattle herders. Just when he's about to get killed, Jacob and the other cowboys arrive after having heard the gunshots and overpower Banner and his men. Rather than take them all to the sheriff, Jacob hangs a noose on their necks and tethers it to a tree while they're saddled, giving them a 50-50 chance of survival. Eventually, Banner is the only one who makes it. With Banner and his men finally dealt with, Jacob has Banner's sheep sent up to the Indians, while the cowboys secure a good grazing spot for their cattle herd. Back at the Yellowstone Ranch, Elizabeth, who's been left with Emma, Jack's mom, and Kara, gets accustomed to life as the wife of a rancher. On the other hand, Tiana Rainwater is far from getting accustomed to life in her boarding school. After getting into another fight with Sister Mary, who hit her for speaking her native language, she's punished by Father Renault. Additionally, her grandmother's attempts to get her transferred out of school are refused on the premise that she isn't an immediate family member. In the meantime, Spencer meets the British socialite Alexandra in a hotel in Nairobi, The two seem to hit it off so well that the following day, Lady Alexandra, who's been engaged to Arthur Jr., a man she doesn't like or love, abandons her fiancé and leaves with Spencer for his new job. Hyena hunting in Tanganyika As soon as Jacob and his cowboys return to the Yellowstone Ranch, he decides it's prudent to go see McDowell the sheriff, and tell him of what happened on the mountain. However, unknown to him, Banner arrives home, eager for vengeance, 
and sends his son out to call some men. When Jacob eventually meets McDowell and intimates him of the event in the mountain, McDowell frowns on his reaction, saying it'd have been better if the men had been brought to him instead. However, Jacob, aware that the crime for Banner's actions was hanging, tells McDowell that he felt he'd be saving him the trouble of punishing Banner and his men. Afterward, Jacob books hotel rooms for himself, Kara, Emma, and her husband, John, and Elizabeth and Jack, since it's become too late to head back to the ranch. When Spencer and Alexandra arrive at Tanjanika, he takes her sightseeing and eventually proposes to her. Alexandra agrees, and they make out. Though their newly found love can't save them when an angry elephant attacks them on the way back, flipping their car over. However, as the elephant moves for the kill, Spencer collects himself, shoots, and kills it. With their car totaled, Spencer quickly helps himself and Alexandra up a tree, knowing that the gunshot and the smell of fresh blood will attract other wild animals in no time. As expected, a pride of lions shows up as the night begins, and soon after, a pack of hyenas follow suit. Unnerved by the sight of so many wild animals in proximity, Alexandra cries, drawing the lion's attention. Spencer tries to keep the lions at bay with his gun, but it's not enough. However, just when they think it's over, help arrives from the officials of the reservation. Meanwhile, back in Montana, Jacob and his family are attacked by Banner and his men on their way back to the ranch. John, Jacob, Jack, and Elizabeth get shot, and John dies on the spot. However, they're able to push Banner and his men back and head home immediately to see a doctor. Jacob, having been shot several times by Banner, survives the night, giving Kara hope he just might live through the attack. After his treatment, Kara writes a letter to Spencer, hoping he responds to it as he's ignored all her letters over the years. Then, she instructs Zane, one of the cowboys, to take the letter to the post office and keep silent about the attack. In the meantime, Emma buries her husband. Believing Jacob to be dead, Banner decides to go after Yellowstone with help from Donald Whitfield, a wealthy man who's had his eyes on the ranch for some time. Donald agrees to give Banner money for the ranch in exchange for allowance to mine for gold, silver, and other minerals on the land. Afterward, Banner hires more men, marches up to the mountain, and steals the cattle herd grazing there, killing the men Jacob had left to protect it. When Zane brings news of this to Kara, she's devastated, confused, and helpless. However, her cries wake Jacob, who tells her not to engage Banner until Spencer returns and that she should focus on leading their people instead. Later that night, at the government boarding school, tired of repeatedly getting beaten and raped, Tiana kills Sister Mary and the nun who had been raping her and runs away. Meanwhile, Kara replaces Jacob as chairman of the Livestock Association's monthly meeting, citing that her husband is unavailable as he's gone to Wyoming to recover their stolen herd. Three months later, Spencer is compelled by Alex to read his auntie's letters, which he's been avoiding because he wants to forget about home. As he gets to the last one, he learns of the tragedy that's befallen his family back in Montana and weeps, especially after realizing the letter is three months old. After checking her mail in the post office and seeing no reply from Spencer, a disappointed Kara returns home. Ever since the attack, Kara's been nursing Jacob slowly to health, but that's not the only issue with their family. Emma and Jack have been drifting apart because of their grief, and Kara's attempts to help Emma are futile. Unable to deal with her grief, Emma eventually takes her own life. After reading Kara's letters, Spencer and Alex decide to journey back to Bozeman. However, they encounter some problems at the port in Mombasa, as the ship they're to board has a wait time of three weeks. Desperate to reach home as soon as possible, Spencer looks for other alternatives and finds a tugboat that agrees to take him and Alex. However, before they leave, he manages to send a message back home using the radio of a large ship. Back at Tiana's boarding school, the corpses of the sisters are found, and Father Renault sends three priests after Tiana. On the run, Tiana stumbles across Hank, an Indian man who knows her dad, 
and follows him after he's promised to send for her father. Back at the Yellowstone Ranch, Jacob's finally able to move about a bit. While Donald buys up the lands around Yellowstone, hoping to take the entire valley for himself, Elizabeth, fed up with Jack's inertia, confronts him about it, and Jack finally snaps out of his grief. A few months later, Elizabeth conveys news of her pregnancy to Kara, and Kara's excited, as it's the only good news the family has had for months. Meanwhile, Spencer and Alex encounter some difficulty at sea, when Luca, the tugboat owner, dies from an illness, and their boat capsizes after impact with a large abandoned ship at sea. Similarly, Kara also encounters a slight problem, when Donald stops her on her way to the post office, asking for an audience with Jacob, who, according to Kara, is in Wyoming. In a remarkable show of wit, Kara tells him she doesn't have Jacob's schedule, but promises to convey his message. Afterward, she continues to the post office, where she gets Spencer's radio message, informing her of his return. Still hot on Tiana's tail, a pair of marshals pay her grandmother a visit, asking for her whereabouts, but she doesn't know. When she then tries to get the officers out of her house, Marshal Kent pushes her violently, and she smacks her head against the table, dying instantly. Both of them, before leaving, agree to cover up the murder by lying that she had attacked one of them. Meanwhile, a stranded Spencer and Alex manage to get out of the water and sit on the hull of the capsized boat, waiting for help. Back at the Yellowstone Ranch, a recovering Jacob asks Zane to find cowboys for the posse in anticipation of Spencer's return. In the meantime, Kara and McDowell conduct an interview at the Livestock Association office, in search of more agents. At the end of the day, they're only able to find three qualified men. After that, Kara takes McDowell to see Jacob, and tells him of their current predicament, going against Jacob's warnings. After learning what happened, McDowell promises to arrest Banner and directs all witnesses to give their statement to his deputies. Back at sea, Spencer and Alexandra are fortunately found by another ship, thanks to Spencer broadcasting an SOS message just before their boat sank. Finally, out of the water, Spencer confirms with the captain that they are in international waters, and asks him to wed him and Alexandra, thus facilitating both their entry into the US. The friendly captain agrees, and even gives Alex his wife's wedding ring to seal their marriage. As Jacob, Jack, McDowell, and a group of cowboys head over to Banner's house to arrest him on charges of murder and attempted murder, Donald's started mining on the lands he purchased around Yellowstone. While at work, he gets word of Banner's intended arrest from Clyde, a spy that he had put in the Livestock Association and then sends a lawyer over to Banner. Meanwhile, runs his horse, Tiana's father, finds his mother-in-law dead, and judging by the horseshoe tracks outside the house, figures that the government may have killed her. Just then, Hank's son, Pete, shows up and informs runs his horse of his daughter's escape from the boarding school. He then sends Pete away upon receiving this message, promising to follow soon. After burying his mother-in-law, he leaves for his daughter. However, the way back isn't easy for Pete, as he comes across the priest sent after Tiana. After getting into an altercation, one of the priests decides to force Pete back to their school, while the rest continue their search for Tiana. Later that night, Pete's almost killed by the priest, but runs his horse who's been tracking them after seeing Pete's abandoned horse and campsite, shows up and scalps the priest before killing him. The following morning, Tiana is found by the priests who are after her. Hank defends Tiana from them and succeeds in killing them. However, as he carries her off, he gets shot and killed by one of the priests, who survived his attack. Tiana, though, is able to finish off the priest with a rock as he tries to reload the gun. Together with these tragic events, Spencer and Alexandra bump into Arthur and his family at the port where they were dropped off in Sicily. With the priests who were sent out not back yet, Marshal Kent takes Father Renault and a few deputies to find them and Tiana. Meanwhile, runs his horse and Pete find Tiana at the site of Hank's death and take her away, with the trio planning to go south to escape their hunters. Jacob, on the other hand, isn't having as much luck with Banner's prosecution, as the judge Donald bribed releases him without bail. 
On getting home, an enraged Banner expresses his intent to wipe out all the Duttons, but Donald is able to get him to focus on taking Yellowstone instead. Back in town, Jacob allows Zane to go see his family, but unknown to them, Clyde is on Zane's tail. Afterward, Jacob visits the bank to ask for a loan to buy some hay, but his request is denied, and it's revealed that Donald has an informer in the bank as well. Soon after, Zane's wife Alice is violently arrested at their home for having an interracial relationship. Similarly, Spencer and Alexandra experience a continuous run of misfortune, as their attempts to avoid Arthur fails when they go out to eat on their ship headed for London. Angry with his fiancée's betrayal, Arthur, who is revealed to be the Earl of Sussex, challenges Spencer to a duel, and though Spencer refuses at first, he agrees to indulge Arthur when he calls Alexandra a whore. They have the duel on the deck, where Spencer wins effortlessly. However, when Arthur pulls a gun on him, Spencer is forced to throw him overboard in self-defense, resulting in his death. Arthur's royal and wealthy family then uses their influence to put Spencer in cuffs and locks Alexandra in her room. Back in Yellowstone, Donald visits Jacob to inform him he's paid off Jacob's property back taxes, and that if he's not repaid at the end of the year, the deed of property will be reverted to him, making him the new owner of the Yellowstone Dutton Ranch. Some time later, Spencer is released and evicted from the ship, when Alexandra's friend, Jennifer, confesses the truth to the captain. During the conversation, Spencer learns that Alexandra is the Countess of Sussex and that the prince in succession to the British throne has ordered his removal from the ship. Spencer is then dragged off the ship at the nearest port, being forced to leave without Alex. However, Alexandra escapes her room and she promises to meet up with him in Bozeman. In the Yellowstone, Kara writes a letter to Spencer telling him now he's the only hope the family has, but throws it away on a second thought. Spencer, I fear everything your parents fought so hard to build is being ripped from us. You are its only hope. You are our only hope. You must hurry, Spencer or there will be nothing left to fight for.